Hey, what is up guys? I'm 64 here and welcome to my first look video at the new features in version 2 of Pro MC Games. So, if we go to this little tab here, we have all of the new game modes versus War, Solo SG, and Hosted UHC. So, I've done a little bit of these two, but I haven't tried either of these yet. Uh, so in this video, we're going to be going through, looking at all of these game modes, and I'm going to talk about them, my thoughts on them and everything. Uh, just kind of a first look video. Just, just get my, get my thoughts out there. So yeah, let's do it, shall we? Here we go! Alright, first up, here we are in the versus game, so I'm not totally sure how this works. I'm hoping that's kind of like Bad Lion, uh, or just like a 1v1 type thing, because I've been banned on Kohi and Bad Lion now for my freaking jitter clicks, because those servers just can't handle the jitter clicks, apparently. Um... And so hopefully I won't get banned from here, that'd suck, but I've been really looking for a new a new 1v1 service. So let's give this a shot. Diamond, let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, are the wait times on this going to be really long? I hate 1v1 service where the wait times are really long. Diamond Sword, come on, let's do it. Alright, can I get another Q? Oh, there we go. Oh, yes! It's a 1v1 thing. Oh, I fucking love Pro MC so much. Alright, no jitter clicks. Just in case they do have an anti-cheat, I don't want to get fucking banned. Oh, uh, yeah! Come here. There we go. It's weird not having anything aside from a diamond sword, though. I'd like it if they would give us a bow and some FNS and a rod, maybe. You know, all that fancy shit. You've gained 30 emeralds for game kill. Oh, boy. This is gonna be fun. I'm so glad that they added this. This I'm happy about. Let's see. Random custom battle. Okay. How do I do that? Looking for a game join the custom battle. Quit. Okay, what do I do now? Oh! Oh, that's hella dope. Wait. What's happening? What's happening? Am I supposed to customize this? Oh, I think I'm supposed to fill this with stuff. Oh, shit! Okay, well, let's just punch this little guy to death. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'm in creative. Oh, I'm in creative. I don't know why there's even a chest there. Uh, diamond. This, I don't really like this game mode. I wish it would just automatically give you stuff. Let's see, because I don't like, I don't like making all of my loot every time I play. Put that there. Give me, give me a one. I feel like this would be fun with friends. Um, ah, what the heck, it's glitchy. Come on. Yeah, I feel like this would definitely be fun with friends, where like, you're like, alright, let's do a random custom battle, and then you go in here and you agree on some stuff to get. But just playing this with random strangers on the internet seems like it would kind of suck. I also can't enchant this for some reason. There it goes. Seven. Ah, oh, pure spidery shit. You know what? We're just gonna hub this. I'm not a big fan of that game mode. I don't think I will be. Um, but the others seem freaking awesome. Let's try a few more of these other 1v1s. Um, I wish that these would give you... Let's see. Kit battle. We'll do a chain one, I guess. I wish that those would give you, like, bow and FNS and stuff. Oh, these maps! Some of these maps are so nice. That first one was kind of meh, but this one's really cool. Oh, oh, I'm getting both frame and server lag a little bit there. Uh, we'll do, like, one more round of this. I really like this, though, and this lobby is nice, too. Uh, I believe all of this is done by the, uh, I don't remember the build team's name, but it's, it's Datawood and Isaac the King and all those guys, I believe. And they did a really nice job with this hub. I like all the slab detailing and stuff. Uh, let's look at the top eight. I might just play this all night to try and get on the top eight. <laughs> uh, dude, I could see myself really getting into some of these, though. Like, this this is awesome. I really like this because it's turning Pro MC into kind of your, your one-stop shop for PvP. Because I used to have to be like, alright, I'll switch back and forth between... Uh, Pro MC and Kohi and Bad Lion and all that shit to get all the 1v1s and stuff that I need. So if they were to expand this a little bit more, there also seems to be a tournament. That'll be awesome. Uh, if they expand this thing a little bit more and make it so that there's maybe a few more types of battles where there's like enchants and potions and maybe even soup, that'd be fucking awesome and this would be like a one-stop shop for PvP. So I'm super happy about this. Really like this new edition, version 2. You're done well. Let's hop in the next mini game. I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, guys. Next, we're going to be looking at the new War mini game. So this, I think, is just a just the replacement for Kit PvP, which I don't know. I was never a big fan of Kit PvP. Sometimes it's fun to go in there and mess around. Was that platinum? No, I thought I saw platinum for some reason. Uh, sometimes it's fun to go mess around and kit PvP, but I've never been a big fan of it, so I probably won't end up playing this a whole lot. But we'll go ahead and look at it anyway. It looks like there's some customization here. And uh, I already I already looked in this guy, the item customization, and I bought Infinity Bow. Is it 1,000 every time? Damn. Uh, this is a tier 2 item. Get bow 5 arrows. 2 second delay on shooting. Can I get one with no second delay? Get power. Oh, that's nice. 
had five arrows. Oh, but uh, infinity, but it has a delay, so I can't post spam. Damn, this is cool though. I like this. Let's see. And I hear TNT. So is there a way to get TNT? Speedball, fishing rod. Uh, I wish I could couple these two and like kind of design like a kit for me to use because I would want this, 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 and this, and then I could like. I, I don't know that would be a little bit OP it's kind of just like a kit selection menu but they make it with like tier 1 and tier 2 so that's kind of cool uh, we will go with this one I guess to give that a try kill streak customization this feature is still in development oh okay that's fine what's this you can spectate other war game modes not done yet ooh that's cool that there's gonna be other game modes though hype for that all right let's try this a little bit getting a little bit of frame and server lag today I'm not sure what's up with that flint and steel hey buddy there we go, there's one kill. Boom! Jesus Christ, these guys spamming their TNT. Music, turn that shit down. I don't know how loud that actually is for you guys. I feel like it's really loud. It's really loud for me, so I'm gonna turn it down anyway. Hopefully you guys can still actually hear it though. Mm-hmm. All right, again, another map built by the uh, Datawood and Isaac build team. I know that build team has a name, I just don't know what it's called. Uh, I really like this though. They're really good at like natural stuff awesome i want to get on a build team and i don't know i feel like i would be a good addition to this build team i kind of talked to isaac a little bit about it um whoop, there we go but yeah that's not the, this is not the thing to talk about in this video so this game mode whoa what the shit is that i think that's let's see what is that i don't know that it actually does anything aside from looking really goddamn sexy oh shit Eh. Oh, I was getting a little bit of comboing there. Uh, this seems really cool though. Let's see. We got a leaderboard over here. That's cool. Can I be on the leaderboard plus? <laughs> uh, that's gonna be fun with all of these new mini games. You can try and get on the leaderboards for all of them again. Hey, it's Monster 98. Um, but yeah, so this seems like a really cool mini game. I'm not sure that I'll play it a whole lot as I mentioned earlier just because it's like kit PvP and uh, my problem with kit PvP like one one suggestion that I have for this is they should make it so that when you get a kill uh, it gives you a golden apple or something so that once you get a kill you can regen really quickly um, Because otherwise you get a kill and then someone else just swoops in and gets the kill and You can get a lot of kills in this game just by being clever about your cleanups And so you stay back and don't really fight anyone and then just swoop in for cleanups to get a lot of kills in this game uh, Which seems a little bit goofy. So I feel like uh, People once you get a kill you should get a golden apple and then you still have to eat the golden apple So you're not just really overpowered uh, but you are able to regen a little bit, which would be really cool. Uh, so yeah, just a little suggestion there. I don't know. Probably won't happen, but that would be pretty cool if it did. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure there's much else to show up off in this mini game. This isn't done yet. Uh, spectate. Oh yeah, that's cool. You can go around and watch people. I like that. You can spectate people in the lobby, it looks like, though. Um, but yeah, so that's, I think that's all there is to cover in this mini game for now. Really like this lobby. I think we're inside of that big mushroom right now. Oh yeah, this, oh dude, this build team, I'm a big fan. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna hop in the next mini game, which I believe might just be solo SG, which I've played a little bit. That's pretty much just gonna be a round of SG. Uh, and I'll go ahead and just play a whole round. And yeah, I'll see you guys then. Let's do it! <laughs> Alright guys, here we are in the survival games. So no new lobby for this, which I was kind of I was kind of upset about because I don't really like that old lobby. Nothing special about it, just kind of bland, the colors aren't good. Not a fan of the old ones, so hopefully they'll get a new lobby for that. But that's not a big deal. This is the new SG. Uh, it's really no different. It doesn't seem any different, at least aside from the thing that teaming is bannable, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like that, but there also needs to be like a default survival games, I feel, because like Teaming's fun, like, it's, it's a fun thing to do. Some friends come over, you stay up late teaming with them. Everyone's done that, like, don't don't lie and be like, I've never teamed in my life. But yeah, so I definitely feel like we need to have a default survival games. Uh, give me all that. Oh, fuck, being glitchy. Oh, I'm getting really weird frame rate right now. Hopefully that'll go back up. Oh yeah, there it goes, it's going back up. Um, but yeah, so I think, hopefully they'll, they'll keep the old survival games around just as, like, default survival games, and then this will be solo. And then UHC is also solo, and then maybe there could be like a, an only team battle or something, and you like have to choose your teams before the game. Ooh, that'd be cool. Like uh, a team SG, because we have solo, we have normal, and then we have team. Maybe we could even just remove uh, normal. Talk, I'm saying we as if I'm a developer. <laughs> just suggestions, but it would be cool if there was also a team survival game, so that like, it would be you and your team, and it could be teams of two or three or four, and there could be different types, 
uh, versus other teams of two or three or four. And so it'd be, it would be fair, yet you'd still get to team with your friends and test your luck against other teams. I feel like that could be really fun. I don't know what is up with my frame right now. Am I doing 32 chunks? I'm not. That's weird. I'll, uh, after this after this round, I'll go ahead and check, see if I can change the settings on fraps around a little bit. Um, but yeah, damn, not, this, this game did not fill up, so it's starting really quickly. Also, although this isn't a V2 feature, I still want to talk about uh, chest tiering. So I'm a big fan of the new chest tiering system. It makes gameplay... There's some really interesting stuff that happens with gameplay with the new tiering system. Um, and there are some places that are OP, like on SG4, there's one area you can go to. And if you have restock... Ooh, why, why did I put items back in that chest? If you have restock, you just fucking demolish um, there, because you can get like four tier twos, and then restock them all, and it's crazy. I don't know what I'm doing with my inventory right now, I'm just... <laughs> I have no idea how to inventory manage because I've been talking and shit, so I haven't gotten to manage my inventory. Um, there we go. Oh, shit. I didn't throw it on my... I, why did I even need to throw it on my bottle of enchanting? I don't know, dude. But yeah, so there's some really interesting stuff that happens with the tiering. And I don't know. Sometimes it makes for some overly overpowered routes. Uh, but it also makes you, like, change up your routes because you have to go find obscure t chests that nobody knows about. Which is cool. It's interesting. And I feel like if if they put out the numbers for oh shit that sharp sword is demolishing me uh, if they were to put out the numbers for all of Jesus Christ can you not ah! uh, if they were to put out like statistics for all the chests opened and stuff um, there would be some really interesting patterns that show up like popular chest routes would start to become tier two or tier one chests uh, because people would be like, oh, everyone goes that route, I'm not gonna go that route, and eventually everyone would stop going that route, and then it would become tier 1s. GG. Oh, was that, was that not the last guy? Oh shit, that wasn't even the last guy! I need a gapple or something, damn it. I hate people who just wait till the end. Come on, Nate. There we go, maybe this guy's super underlooted or something, and that's why he's waiting. Alright, I have some arrows, that's always good. Um, but yeah, so I really like the new tiering system, super unique. Uh, and I wish it would be cool if they had on their website, and I don't know that this is even possible, but they had on their website, and it was like a map of all the chests on every different SG map, and there were like colors for how often each chest is opened, and it would update like every hour or so, and you could look at it and find these obscure little chests and be like, okay, I, I will cater my route to go this way or something, which I don't know, might be a little bit weird, but it would be cool to go on the forums like every hour or so and be like, alright, let me find a new ideal route to go. Uh, and I know a lot of people wouldn't be interested in doing that. That sounds cool to me. Do you not have anything? Oh, I feel sorry for you, buddy. Are you AFK? Here, here, have some loot. <laughs> here. I think he's AFK. Alright, I'll just set him on fire. I mean, what else do you do when someone's AFK? Deathmatch ending in three minutes. Alright. Sorry, buddy. Love you, pal. Alright, GG. <laughs> oh, God. I stayed up till like 3 a.m. playing freaking Pro MC last night, so I probably have like giant. I, I probably look like death um, But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and hop in the next game and I'll see you then. Let's do it All right guys, so the last game mode is these hosted UHCs I'm not totally sure what's the deal with these Maybe they're gonna be like Twitter UHCs where there are different hosts that sign up to do it And then the server will announce every time there's a UHC going on and you can join it from here because it, it, it says I'm not whitelisted or something uh, which is understandable so yeah, that's kind of cool. Let's do some verses while I talk about my overall thoughts on version 2. Because I'm pretty hyped about these verses. Give me, give me that. Is my face cam still going? Yeah, it is. Alright, let's do, we'll do a diamond. Why not? Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy about all these new changes happening. Uh, they're really, really making the server feel whoa, a lot more professional. And I feel like it's definitely going to affect the server's popularity. What is with my frames right now? Oh my god. Frame rate. BB girl! <laughs> I might not even export this video to 60 frames because it is not running at 60 frames most of the time. Does it only drop down when I get in a game? Let's check that. That's weird. Maybe they have some frame issues on the, the verses. Um, but yeah, they had some trouble with their launch of version 2. Uh, it was supposed to come out on their on their message of the day below the server. It was like coming out the 27th and the 28th and then it... it Maybe they meant the 27th or the 28th, but it, come out, it came out the 28th and there was no sign of it the 27th, at least as far as I know. Giant frame drops there. I don't know, maybe my external hard drive is like melting a little bit. You block hitting shit. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, so they had some trouble with the launch. That was a little bit confusing. And then today, when V2 actually did launch for beta, um, damn it. Oh, did I get the kill? Or game kill? Jesus, I don't think I've lost any of these, even though I feel like I should be losing a lot of them. Yeah, people are saying lag central, so I do believe there's some lag issues here. Um, maybe it's not just me and it's not my external hard drive, but yeah, and then today the the launch was a little bit broken and it kept crashing It looks like it's fixed now and version 2 is officially version 2 beta is officially open I keep acting like it's officially out, but this is just the beta. I have to keep that in mind um, And they're doing another thing where normal players get five hours of playtime and pros and pro pluses donors I should say get infinite playtime, which is really cool. Uh, I like that. They're doing that letting the and it, it adds a cool incentive for non-pros to donate because they're like, I got a little, I got a taste of these new features, now I really want to play more, let me buy a rank, you know? And unlike other servers where it's like, no, fuck you, uh, baby, I love you, I love you too, heart, why am I still here? It didn't teleport me back. That's glitchy. Um, what was I saying? Something. <laughs> but yeah, so, uh, it, it's cool because other servers are kind of like, beta features are only for... Uh, donors and it's kind of elitist and annoying and from C the, the donors aren't really as elitist as they are on a lot of servers the features that they get are usually like it's not overpowered on any server but they they feel a lot more a lot more fair for what you're actually paying you know so I really like that they're giving normal players five hours of playtime on the beta that's pretty freaking awesome um, and yeah, what else is there to talk about? I don't know. I, I talked about the SG. I really think that Pro MC should try and make a few more types of SG because if they're going to have UHC, Solo, and that, and uh, just normal SG, then I think normal SG should be changed into like a team SG where you have to choose a teammate or two teammates or whatever. I already talked about that. Uh, I feel like that would be a really cool addition. Tell me down in the comments if you agree. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for our first look video. If there are new game modes that come out and stuff, I'll try to do little cover videos on those. Maybe I'll do another first look video. It won't really be a first look video. As, as new features come out to version 2, I'll try and bring up little videos to try and keep everything up to date and keep my thoughts flowing out on them. Uh, because yeah, I like to I like to talk about the server. I love this server, and I like to I like to talk about it. So yeah, hope you guys have all enjoyed this episode. Not really an episode. It's not an episode of anything. It's just a video. Hope you guys have all enjoyed the video. Be sure to drop a like if you have. Get on IP down in the description if you don't play Pro MC. I don't know why you're watching this video if you don't play Pro MC. Uh, but yeah, check out the server. Check out the new features. They're freaking awesome. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Adios. Free!